Hey everybody, it's Randy Ray here at the Literate Texan at Driftwood Ranch. And today I have something I've never done before, a video about a book unhaul. Yes, I'm getting rid of some of the books here at the Driftwood Ranch Library. I have 32 books that I need to get rid of. I thought it would be fun to show you which ones I'm getting rid of and say something about each of them and maybe talk about why I'm getting rid of them. I don't know. Um, but there is a reason to get rid of each of them, you know. A lot of it just has to do with making some shelf space. But I'm going to go through these one by one. Uh, the first one is a mass market paperback of a novel called The Company by John Ehrlichman. And I don't really know anything about this book. I don't even know how I got it. So uh, it doesn't look like anything I'm particularly interested in reading. I don't generally like reading mass market paperbacks anymore because I'm getting older. My eyesight's getting worse and the print is pretty small. So, but yeah, I've noticed that since my friends have figured out that I like books and reading, they just drop off books here indiscriminately. And so that's how I got that one. Um, I've also got a copy of Blood Meridian here by Cormac McCarthy. I may or may not ever read this. I've started it a couple of different times. It's really, I don't know. It just hasn't done anything for me yet. So I'm going to give up and get it off the shelf. But it's in good shape. My plan is, by the way, with this unhaul, is to sell these books at Recycled Books and Records, which is not only the greatest bookstore around, but they also give the best prices that I've ever seen from a, from a used bookstore. If you go to uh, Half Price Books, for example, they're going to give you really, really rock-bottom prices in exchange for your books. The other thing about Recycled Books, though, is that they are very particular about the stock that they will buy. And so I am sure that I have books in this book unhaul. I've shown you two of the 32 that I'm getting rid of that uh, they will not want. And my intention with those is to put them in the little free libraries here in town, seed those places a little bit. And one of the ones that they may not want at my uh, local recycled books and records is Hannibal Rising by Tom Harris. And they may or may not want it. It's not in bad shape or anything like that, but chances are, I'm not going to get around to reading that, uh, what is probably an ill-conceived prequel to The Silence of the Lambs, which is a terrific book. Red Dragon's really good, too, but yeah, I'm just probably not going to get around to reading it. Um, this next one, James Lee Burke, The Lost Get Back Boogie. This is probably a fine novel, but I'm trying to collect all of James Lee Burke's novels in hardcover because they come through it recycled pretty regularly in hardcover, so there's no need for me to be straining my eyes reading a mass market paperback version of his books when I'm probably going to replace it with a hardcover anyway. This one's pretty beat up. This is Rose Matter by Stephen King, which is one of the, the few novels by Stephen King that I haven't read. I say few novels. I think I've read two thirds of his books, but uh, you know, it's pretty beat up, especially here on the side. Recycled may or may not want it. Um, but you know, like I say, probably going to collect all of his books in hardcover as I find them. The earlier ones are the tougher ones to get in hardcover. Then I've got a book here called Stone Butch Blues by Leslie Feinberg. Have no idea what this is about. I have no idea how it got in my collection. But, you know, reading the back of it, it doesn't seem like anything I'm particularly interested in. So away it goes. And next up, Nothing Like the Sun, a story of Shakespeare's love life by Anthony Burgess, author of A Clockwork Orange. I started this. Couldn't get into it, put it aside. I don't particularly feel a need to get back to it, so I might as well get it off the shelf. It's in beautiful condition. Recycle will be glad to get a hold of that one and resell it. Next, Michael Connolly, The Scarecrow. I love anything by Michael Connolly. He's a terrific writer, but he's another author that's fairly easy to get his books in hardcover used. And I'm in no rush to, to read everything by Michael Connolly, although you know, I anticipate that I probably will at some point. I particularly like his Lincoln Lawyer novels as opposed to his Harry Bosch novels. I just like courtroom thrillers better than I like uh, police detective stuff. Not that I dislike police detective stuff. I just prefer one to the other. I also have As I Lay Dying by William Faulkner. I'm going to get rid of this. It's in perfect condition, but Faulkner's not really my cup of tea. I guess I'm more of a Hemingway guy, maybe. I don't know. But at any rate, this is a Norton Critical Edition that's in really perfect shape. So Recycled will be glad to get their hands on that one too. Louis L'Amour, Last of the Breed. I have not read this. I'm not going to read it. 
I don't like Louis L'Amour that much. James Michener, Alaska. I'm sure this is a fine book, but it certainly isn't in fine condition. This is really beat up. Um, you know, I've, I've got a limited amount of shelf space here, and I'm not going to waste it on ugly books. And sometimes they get in such bad shape that they become ugly. The Spirit of the Border by Zane Gray. Um, I think I, I think I read this one for June on the Range. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's in great condition. Not crazy about Zane Gray either. Sorry. Next year for June on the Range, probably going to be reading a lot of Larry McMurtry. I also have Fort Orne River by Zane Gray. This is kind of an older edition of a Western novel, but uh, I don't think I read it. But I'm probably not going to, especially not now that I'm doing it as part of my unhaul. Jonathan Kellerman, Deception, an Alex Delaware novel. have no idea what this has to do with anything. Don't know how I got my hands on it, but I'm going to get my hands off it. Michael Crichton, The Terminal Man. I almost don't want to get rid of this one, even though it is another mass market paperback, because I kind of like Michael Crichton's stuff, especially his earliest stuff, and I love the title of The Terminal Man. But still... Got to make room. Got to make room on these bookshelves for other stuff. And it's just such a low priority for me to read that it's just an obvious one to let go of. Ridley Pearson, The Pied Piper. Some kind of thriller from somebody. Don't know anything about it, but uh, somebody gave it to me, even though I didn't ask for it. Rick Riordan, or Riordan, Big Red Tequila. Everything in Texas is bigger, even murder. Anyway, love the tagline and stuff. Not in terrible shape, but it's not in great shape either. You can see all the cracks in the spine. But, again, just not going to be on my priority list anytime soon. James Lee Bark again, In the Moon of Red Ponies, a Billy Bob Holland novel. I've read one of the Billy Bob Holland novels. I liked it very much, in fact. But, again, if I'm going to read James Lee Bark, I want to read him in hardcover. Forgive me. I get dry mouth. Okay, so I've got a stack here of Sherlock Holmes books. And now that I have a collected edition of Sherlock Holmes, I don't need these individual volumes. Even though I really like the Oxford uh, the Oxford Sherlock Holmes, I've got The Valley of Fear here, which is one of the novels, The Casebook of Sherlock Holmes, uh, His Last Battle, and The Sign of the Four. But those are nice. I bought them at Sherlock Holmes Books and Records before I had the collected edition, and the complete works now. So. So really, they're just superfluous extras. I do like having them because sometimes I don't want to sit with a book that big, but I don't have the shelf space to justify duplicating Sherlock Holmes books. Okay, so here's an interesting one. This is Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell, which got all kinds of press, I think year before last when it came out. Um, I didn't like this at all. It was a critical darling. Everybody else seemed to really enjoy it. I just thought it was terrible. It was a slog. I probably should have DNF'd it. I disliked it so much. I kept hoping it would improve, and it never did. But it's in really great condition, and uh, I'm happy that it's going to find a home that somebody's probably going to like. I also have a book here called How to Not Die Alone, The Surprising Science That Will Help You Find Love by Logan Urey. There's a couple of toothbrushes on the corner. Um... I read a novel called How Not to Die Alone not long ago. This is How to Not Die Alone. I bought this by mistake. I wasn't really looking for a self-help book about how to find a wife. Been married once. Might not get married again. Invisible by James Patterson. And there's a co-author listed underneath that price tag. Um, yeah, just not interested. Sorry. Time to move on. I have a copy of Finnegan's Wake here, um, and I love this. It looks like a, almost an antique edition, but the truth is Finnegan's Wake is pretty tough to read, and I'm, prob I'm just not that interested. So for now, me and James Joyce are going to part ways. In fact, not only am I going to part with my copy of Finnegan's Wake, but I'm also going to let go of the Gabler edition of Ulysses because I'm just not willing to devote the time and the energy to it right now. Um, just too much for me. Well, I'm getting low in the box here. I'm going through these really quick. 
It's so much fun making an unhaul video because, you know, like I say, you've probably never seen an unhaul. I know you've never seen an unhaul video on this channel because I've never made one before because I haven't gotten rid of any books over the last year or so. Ken Follett, the man from St. Petersburg. Don't know anything about it. Don't know how it got here or anything. John Sanford, a Virgil Flowers novel, Mad River. Don't know anything about it. Not sure how I wound up with it. I'm almost at the end here. That was 29 books that I've shown you so far that are getting unhauled. Okay, The Dream Child's Progress and Other Essays by David Bentley Hart. Have no idea what this is about. Um, I do know that not too long ago, I looked at it and I thought, why the hell did I buy this? But I'm not sure I even bought it. I think this one might might have picked it up in a little free library. Somebody might have left it here. You know, I do have occasional house guests, whatever. But yeah, I do remember looking at it a few months ago and thinking, I'm not interested in any of that. I don't remember what it was about or why I wasn't interested in it, but I know I'm not interested in it. But I do have one right here. This one is going to double as a book I'm get, letting go of, but it's also a book that I recommend. It's called Dream Girl by Laura Lippman. Okay, so... This is really cool. Apparently, Laura Lippmann is riffing on high concepts from other books by other authors. And this is her riff on misery. It's about a writer who is stuck in a bed and being taken care of by a crazy nurse. But the storyline itself couldn't be more different than, than misery. But I thought it was really good. This is the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. Uh, you know, they put that on there but I don't know that that adds to the collectability of the book or if anybody gets excited about getting a Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. But uh, what do I know? I'm not in, well, we all know I owned a bookstore and it didn't work out. So obviously I don't know anything about selling books retail. And then Prime Witness by Steve Martini. I guess this is a courtroom thriller, but I don't really know much about it. It's really hard to make it a priority. And like I say, I need to make that space. So there are 32 books that I am unhauling, getting rid of, saying goodbye to, to shore up space on my bookshelves for everything I have planned in the new year in 2024. Um, don't worry, I still have videos coming in 2023 besides this one. And uh, But that's it for this. There's 32 books that I'm unhauling. And uh, until the next video, stay sexy. Hope you're reading something fun and that you're uh, being gentle with yourself.